New tonight, we're learning more about the trucker convoy headed to the D.C. area this week and the potential for wide-ranging impacts on traffic. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts is talking to an organizer who says his convoy plans to shut down the Beltway. She's live on Capitol Hill with an interview you'll only see here on Fox 5. Lindsay. Tisha, already tonight, we are seeing the city of D.C. using trucks to block roads here around the Capitol. But the organizer of one of the trucker convoys I spoke to says the plan is not to occupy D.C., but to shut down the highway around it. We will be along the Beltway, where the Beltway will be shut down. Bob Bolas owns a towing business in Scranton and is just one of the people organizing a trucker convoy to D.C. He says the plan is to leave Pennsylvania Wednesday morning, drive through the district, then head to the Capitol Beltway. I'll give you an analogy of that of a giant ball constrictor that basically squeezes you, chokes you, and then swallows you, and that's what we're going to do to D.C. There's a lot of people that don't want that to happen and certainly want to be able to get to work, get to where they need to go to have emergency services reach them in the event of an emergency. Do you understand the risk uh, that you're putting in place? There'll be, by doing this? there'll be a lane open for emergency vehicles to be able to get in and get out and all that. We will not compromise anybody's safety or health one way or the other. As far as if they can't get to work, geez, that's too bad. Truckers in Canada shut down the Capitol there over COVID-19 mandates. But Bolas, a longtime Trump supporter, says here the issues are wide-ranging. This group of idiots are trying to take our rights away. We're done with the high fuel prices, but all the illegals come marching across. Why should a child have to get vaccinated. Fox 5 was first to tell you about how D.C. police are mobilizing ahead of protests, limiting time off for officers, and putting nearly 500 officers on civil disturbance units daily starting Wednesday. There will be disruptions to traffic, that kind of thing. Police Chief Robert Conti said Friday police are working with their federal partners. I think we need to be very candid with the public about what some of the expectations, based upon what we've seen in Ottawa, what some of those, those things could be that we might see here in the district. There are multiple groups planning truck convoys to D.C., and it's unclear how long this could last. Bola says he plans to stay a day or two, and that he's heard about other convoys planning to target the Beltway and block traffic. Are you prepared to be arrested? I don't intend to be arrested. Tonight, I reached out to Virginia and Maryland State Police to see if these plans are on their radar. MSP says yes, they are aware of the situation and working with law enforcement partners in the region. VSP also says that they are monitoring the situation. I have been hearing from police sources that they're having trouble finding tow truck companies to work with law enforcement in the days ahead. Stay with Fox 5. We will continue to monitor this developing story. Back to you.